this is Alex Marie sewing tutorials thank you for watching and today we're going to finish our series on setting up the sewing machine we're concentrating on the industrial sewing machine today so please remember to subscribe share and like this channel if you like the content I've been putting out lately and well let's get to it see you after the break <laughs> parts of the sewing machine we have the upper thread spools as you can see at the back here and this is attached to the table we have your large bobbin winder also attached to the table you have the hand wheel which you need to unlock by stepping on your foot pedal you have your stitch length knob you have your reverse lever you have the arm of the machine, the bed of the machine. You have your thread guides, an upper one here, mine is broken. You have your tension knob down here. You have a thread guide up here and some other thread guides on the side here and all the way down to the needle. This is the needle with threads from left to right, the presser foot, like most machines, you can take the presser foot off and switch it to different ones for different functions. This is your needle plate and your feed dogs. On the needle plates, you have your seam guidelines. This is on most machines, but not all machines. Here we have these little holes to attach some accessories or attachments. Here is your bedside. Underneath there is the bobbin. You have the clutch motor. You have your knee lifter pad for taking the presser foot up and down. And finally, your foot pedal. And all this is attached to a table. Now, winding your bobbin. First, we'll put the thread on the thread spool, guide it through the thread guides and all the way down. Here is the bobbin itself. I'll put that on the bobbin winder. Mine is a little tight. First, I'm going to pass it through a thread guide here. Before taking it around the tension spring here. And then finally around the bobbin, we'll go from underneath bobbin. Now I'm just going to wind it round. When it's secure, you push this down to get it so that the wheel of the bobbin winder touches the belt of the machine. Now I'm just going to put on the sewing machine up on the foot pedal to get it working. Now this type of machine usually once it's full, the bobbin winder should pop back and that's it. Turn off your machine for safety. Snip the thread and remove the bobbin. Now the bobbin case is underneath this. To make it easier for you to see, I'm actually just going to lift the whole head up. I don't do this normally, but for you to see the bobbin easily. First, we'll take the bobbin. The thread should be coming down the left side like a letter P. Just put it into the bobbin case. Now you just have to pass some of the thread through this notch on the side. and pull it under that latch and it should come out of that little hole right there. Let me hold this steady. Here we go. And it should move freely when you pull the thread. Now you are ready to go. This side of the bobbin case should fit into the machine upwards. Here we go. I'll just open this. You hold that open, put it back and it should just slide in and it's ready for use. 
please be cautious anytime you're lifting the head of your machine use both hands and do it gently now to thread the machine put your thread on the upper spool there and we're going to pass it through the thread guides at the top of the machine I'll pass it through the first hole there are three holes there from beneath then I'll pass it through the third hole from the beneath you can change this depending on how thick your thread is there's another thread guide up there but mine is broken so we'll just continue as we are next we'll go down to the side pass it around that thread guide go around the tension knob make sure you go between the tension discs now take it back bring it down again around that hook and now we'll take it back through the thread take up liver there's a hole there pass it through and back down again another one near the top of the needle and finally right over the needle there's this little hole you pass it through that one you can skip this sometimes but for me it works so pass it through that one and finally thread the needle itself needle threads from left to right and push your thread under the presser foot and you're ready to go now we're going to bring up the bobbin thread turn your hand wheel towards yourself so the needle goes down and comes back up it should come up with the bobbin thread you might have to do this twice here we go that's the bobbin thread pull that out and put both threads under the presser foot to the back of the machine and you're ready to sew that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching next week we'll tackle tension settings as that's a very important topic in itself and please subscribe like share this video and also very important to visit the website because i have so much details on the website itself these videos are just summaries thank you so much for watching till next week bye